what? Last week, my friend Mark called me out of the blue and he said, do you want to go free diving under the ice? And my gut instinct was, there's no way you're gonna make me do this. And then he sent me this photo. This is dumb. Life experiences, woo, challenging myself. I'm so excited. Into the face. <laughs> We're chasing ice. Something I've noticed about my personality over the last little while is I really enjoy being comfortable. And that shows up in many different forms. Uh, rather than going to the gym, I sit and watch a couple more episodes of television. Rather than cooking my own healthy meal, I order in. And this is something I have been doing consistently in all aspects of my life for the last five years. I just don't like stepping outside of my comfort zone. We had pulled up after driving for three hours and I was starting to get a bit nervous about this situation. And then Mark showed me some of the photos that he had taken under the ice earlier that day. What are you doing? <laughs> what? With the rays? I know. What? I know, it's insane. I'm so excited. I was starting to get really stoked about the photos that we were hopefully gonna capture the next day. And then right at 4 p.m., just before sunset, Mark was like, you should go out once out here just to get used to the feeling of the freezing gold like ice on your face. Cause it takes probably 15, 20 minutes for the pain in the face to go away. <laughs> and then you're good. Pain to the face. That's the motto. Let's go get some pain to the face. <laughs> yeah, okay. But in general, ice dipping, you feel so much pain that like you'll never be able to bear it. And you push through that 30 seconds and you're fine. I'm worried about being trapped under the ice because when we were doing the in pool, I was like, okay, I could sit down there for maybe a minute, but now I'm worried that like the cold is gonna knock most of that out and then I'll cut that time in half, just like a, a battery. Why don't I just start by like getting my face under. The pain of that first dip is pretty intense. It was really cold on my face. <laughs> Overall, not too bad. The more I move, the better it feels. So let's see how tomorrow goes. Okay, so we are doing our first proper dive. Like yesterday was a test, getting in the cold water, but like today, if we find ice, we're going under the ice. Still a little nervous, pushing myself beyond what I'm comfortable with, and I think that's a good thing. So, here we go. I don't really have any strategy for managing my anxiety. I had that pool session where I can like learn to like bring my heart rate down. But really, I think it's just like, these are those like first experiences where you just kind of kind of go through it to know what it's like to then prepare yourself. Like I don't really have a full idea of what this is gonna be like from start to finish. And so ultimately, I think I just need to go through it today and then I'll have strategies on how to manage it. Every moment we get closer, my heart rate is starting to go up like a little bit more. Overnight, we actually had really strong winds that had pushed all of the ice out of the bays that we were hoping to dive in. And when we got down to the water, all of the ice was gone. What's the plan? Are we still going in or like? I'm still down to go to the shipwreck and shoot photos of the shipwreck. Like even me saying yes to this opportunity is such a great lesson for life and 
going after things that scare you because ultimately I would have never said yes to this anyway. So truthfully, it just leaves more room to want to do this again in the future. So an extra layer to this whole thing, which I did not even think about. One, obviously the cold is kicking it, just taking all the energy from your body. And then two, when I'm trying to shoot photos, I'm like now coordinating, like diving with the camera, composition, shooting the photos, getting my body under there, trying to get in to relax so I can stay under the water longer and hold my breath longer. So much respect for surf photography and underwater filmmakers like wow what a hard skill set when i got out of the water i had this moment when i was reflecting on my dive where i realized that i was focusing so hard on taking photos that i was not paying attention to my surroundings and so i started to think wait if i'm under the ice and i'm taking these photos i'm trying to hold my breath and stay warm i might get so disoriented and distracted that i might forget where the hole is in the ice that we cut and then i'll eventually just run out of air before i get there this video is made possible in so many different ways thanks to our sponsor turo now turo if you don't know who they are is a peer-to-peer -peer car sharing marketplace where you can book a car from an actual human being or even list your own for some extra cash now i've had an account since 2017 and i've used turo countless times on various trips that i've gone on it is so refreshing to not have to wait in line at a car rental counter not knowing which car you're actually going to end up with i love that i can message my host directly we have this bmw x6 and i didn't know how to put it into sport mode so i just messaged him and he gave me all the instructions there are thousands of different makes and models of cars all across the country everything from an electric vehicle to an economical choice like a mini all the way to a luxury choice like a ferrari or a bmw to drive you up to tobermory the best part is you can even get your car delivered to airports train stations or hotels or even a custom address like we did so that we would have more time to prep for this shoot that you're watching right now Check the link in my description if you want to book a car through Turo. Last night it was below zero, which means there is a chance that the water could have frozen over, but we still had no idea. Let's go find some ice. Ice! Ice! We have ice! <laughs> Oh yeah, this feels, feels good. It's a little soft. I don't know how thick this ice is. How we doing, sir? You can drive the car out here if you want. Actually? Probably. Wow. What? No. no. What we previously have been doing has not been dangerous because we can kind of come up and just break holes in the ice to surface. But here, it's actually dangerous because it's thick ice and you have to come back into the same hole. So we gotta be more careful here. So it was a funny combination of being disappointed that we wouldn't find ice but also like a bit of a sigh of relief when everyone was so confident we're not going to find ice today we're not going to find it and if we do it's not even like super legit like we just found super thick ice and it's like i have to do this now like it's gonna happen
So we set up two holes in the ice. The first hole was a larger hole that the three of us could fit in, and then we made one smaller one about 15 feet away so that we could swim between the two holes. And then we used a yellow rope to help guide us between the holes. See, the funny thing is, he told me, that's like, what, how many feet is that? 15 feet? And he was like, once you swim past three feet, oh, and then you see the line. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd say yes to this. I was terrified when I would tell people, it's like, oh, I want to go dive under the ice. They had the same reaction that I did, which was, I, you could never pay me to do that. I came out of this experience with a few different things. I can't even talk. One, I faced a really big fear that I thought I could drown under the ice. And going from one hole to the other hole, I never thought I would be able to do that. Awesome! Oh, <laughs> yeah, I live! You better not out that ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, fuck. That's so scary, man. It's thick, isn't it? Oh, it's so good, though. I came out with a great skill set. I've now had a free dive. I'm excited about it. I started following it on Reddit. I can't even, I feel like my lip is freezing, maybe. <laughs> this has been the most epic last three days. Oh, man. I proofread it. I think my lip is freezing. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Your mouth is moving like sideways. Whoa, weird. Yo, his <laughs> mouth is legit frozen. Huh. <laughs> <That's not laughs> trying to be all sentimental and my mouth is like frozen. <laughs> What the hell? Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> Bro, it's not good. No, maybe I should go in. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> it was funny, when I saw that first photo that Mark had sent me, I was like, oh, I can't wait to take photos like this. I think it's a pretty unrealistic expectation that you're gonna go into something, especially diving under the ice the first time and think you're gonna get photos as good as the ones that I saw. Funny enough, I didn't even take out my camera on the last dive because I was too scared of getting trapped under the ice and that the camera would just be a distraction and that I would ultimately potentially drown. But then I realized I don't think this trip was about the photos. I think this trip was a reminder that life can be pretty exciting when you step outside of your comfort zone.